Next we will take a look at the video player toolbar. The buttons available on the toolbar vary, depending on the capabilities of the camera. For example, the PTZ or talkback buttons are not displayed if the camera does not have those features. To determine the current video status, the video player provides real-time information for the selected video stream. This information includes the current stream being viewed, the date of the video that is being displayed, the time of the video being displayed, and the status of the video player. The various options to play video include, pause, rewind, and fast forward. The live, archive toggle is green when live video is played. When video is paused, the pause button becomes a play button. Click the fast forward and rewind buttons to scrub through the video. Click these buttons multiple times to increase the rewind or fast forward speeds. Click the live, archive toggle to return to live video. A video stream can be buffered to help eliminate delays in playback. When the buffer button is selected, video is temporarily stored locally. The live archive toggle turns red to indicate recorded video is being played back. Additional player options of step forward and step back become available. Hold down the step buttons to move in small increments through the video. Video can be viewed in a full screen mode. Click the full screen button to hide the menu options and enlarge the video player. To toggle between full screen and menu view, click the full screen button again. If a recording is enabled for a camera, stored video can be played back and exported using the video player. See video configuration, cameras for instructions on enabling recording. This tutorial discusses the playback features. See the operations cameras options tutorial for instructions on using the other player options, such as exporting a video. Recorded video can be accessed by dragging the playheads in the timeline, as discussed later in this tutorial. Playback also can be set from a specific date and time, using the calendar button. The calendar button is active only if the selected camera is configured to record. A calendar is displayed. Dates highlighted with green identify days for which archives are available. Select the date and time for which you would like to review video. Click on a date, or use the arrow buttons to select the date. After selecting the date, you can also specify the time for which you are searching for video. Using the up and down arrows, set the appropriate time, making sure to also specify AM or PM. When finished, click the play button in the calendar dialog box to retrieve the video for the selected time frame. Click the calendar button to close the calendar dialog box. Notice. The timeline and video status information changed to reflect the date and time specified. The pause and fast forward video controls are now available, and the video toggle changes from green to red, indicating recorded video is playing. The rewind button also is available during live playback, or when viewing recorded video. You can rewind through the recorded video of the selected camera at 0 0.5, 2, 5, 10, or 50 times the regular speed. The rewind rate is indicated on the video status bar. The next button is the play and pause button. Toggle this button to stop and start the playback of recorded video from the selected camera. Next is the fast forward button. This button is only active when viewing recorded video. Similar to the rewind option, you can fast forward at 0.5, 2, 5, 10, or 50 times the regular speed. Notice that the video status changed from play to forward to indicate that the video is now being played back at 0.5 times the recorded speed. Click the button to step through the various speeds. Next, is the live recorded toggle button. This button is red when playing a recorded stream. Click the button to return to live video. 
The button turns green when live video is playing. The video player includes two timelines. The bottom timeline covers the currently selected day, marked as 24 hours. The top timeline covers one hour, as selected in the bottom timeline. By default, the 24-hour timeline represents the currently selected day, starting at midnight. If a different date is selected for reviewing an archived video, the 24-hour timeline reflects the 24 hours for that date, again, starting at midnight. There are several markings to note on the 24-hour timeline. First, if the selected camera has been configured to record, a green bar is displayed for the time frame that has been recorded. The detail zone is a transparent, blue box, that defines the one-hour time frame that is displayed for the top, one-hour timeline. The detail zone can be moved up and down the 24-hour timeline to change the hour displayed on the one-hour timeline. As the detail zone is moved, the one-hour timeline adjusts to match the setting. The one-hour timeline adjusted to the movement of the detail zone. Click the Live, Archive toggle to return to live video. The final component of the 24-hour timeline is the playhead, or time indicator. Dragging the playhead to the left allows you to rewind the video for the selected camera. Notice that the live, archive toggle turns red to indicate recorded video is being played. Drag the detail zone to match the one-hour timeline with the video being played back. Click the live. Archive toggle to return to live video. The one hour timeline is defined by the detail zone on the 24 hour timeline. The one hour timeline also has a green bar to represent recorded video. The playhead can be dragged along the timeline to select video for playback. The one hour timeline contains start and end brackets to define the beginning and ending points for video to be exported. Note that the brackets are only available if the recording is enabled for the camera. After the start and end points are selected, the video can be played or exported. Exporting and the other video options are discussed in the next tutorial. Select the Operations, Cameras, Options tutorial to continue.